Hello, welcome to what's bubbling a Zen video. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at the new Zim badges tutorial section. Let's go into the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and down below here it says Doctor Abstract and Pragma say try Zim badges, so you can get to the badges that way. But this is where anything new will be placed, and that may change. If you want a permanent place, uh, go to the Learn section and scroll down in Learn to the Tutorials. And then the Badges is right here up at the top of the Tutorials section. So we'll go into the Badges now. Zim Badges train and test you as you build an app. Step by step we see the consistency of Zim, etc. So here, here is a video of the app uh, being used. Uh, we don't present the code for the, the actual code for the app because we want to make sure that you're coding that code yourself and not just copying it. So here are the sections, one, two, three, up to six, and at any time you can press a badge. And now we're in section four, for instance. And if you press the image here, it will take you through the video um, of badge for you know the section for badge four. And then down below are the steps to do um, badge four. Okay, so let's go back up to the top though, and then we'll uh, we'll just start step one. Woohoo! Okay, so copy and paste the code below into a text document on your computer and save it as alien.html. So if you press the copy button, it copies that for you. You can also press the more link to find out more about templates and getting started like so, and then the less link to, to close that. If we scroll down to step two, there's a lot of information in step two where we're making a variable called circle and using a new keyword to assign a new Zim circle. So anything in green will link through to the documentation. And then we've got gray areas here which tell us more information that you're going to have to pass parameters in there, for instance. And then we're using a method, we're centering, and here's information about a method, and the dot syntax, and again, more information can be found here about all of those things, uh, linking through to the tutorial or the, the, the Zim Learn sections, the what is a variable, what is a function, etc. Also Zim bits, like how to make shapes. And we'll do less there. And you can see the answer. So here is the answer. Put your code here. There's var circle equals a new Zim circle. We pass in two parameters. We center the circle on the stage. Neat, huh? And we can hide the answer. At any time, once we get to a step, we're welcome to highlight the step. And when we leave and come back, these highlights will still be here. Also, if you've asked for more information, about chaining there, more are the answers, these things will also, the state will be remembered. So when you come back, if they were open before, they'll be open again. Cool, huh? And here's your badges. And once you do all that, you get to claim a badge. So there we are claiming a badge. Woohoo! Um, and the whole point, or one whole point, <laughs> main, main point uh, of this, um, of Zim badges, is to get students to build an app. And uh, I'm hoping the best way uh, the students will build an app is if the teachers uh, have them build the app. So if you happen to be a student, um, tell your teacher about this and so all the way through we're sort of saying hey show your teacher that you got this badge now that may be that the teacher is asking you to accomplish this badge and therefore I did it hey teacher here's what I did and that's great um, but even if you're a student and the teacher hasn't told you please tell your teacher say hey look maybe you should teach this with uh, you know in your computer classes in high school grade school college whatever it may be Okay, and so there's uh, the badge three. You make the outside here, for instance, all the controls, uh, or sorry, all the tabs along the top and the color pickers, and um, that gets you started. So there's all the code that's needed to do that, and you get badge three. Badge four, you get to animate the circle, so the an circles animate and change the animation speed with the dials. And there's how to do that. 
the next one is you animate to the sound of voice, so a microphone, and that's really cool because as you talk this moves. Um, you can come to the Badges site right now if you want and uh, click that video tutorial and that will show you all this happening. And of course you can do Zim Badges yourself and make it work for real for you. We're controlling the speed of the animation with the pad. And there's the code to do that. Once again we use um, uh, Zim classes like Soundwave and if we want to find out more about Soundwave we hit more and there's bubbling on Soundwave and what is on scope because we had a scope issue here. So all the way through uh, here's the documentation uh, that clicks right into Soundwave and you can read the docs. All the way through we're doing two things primarily. We're, we're building assets, we're putting things on the stage and then we're also controlling those but we're also then working through the logic of how and so there's conditionals like if statements as well and so uh, you're learning programming basics and you're also learning how to build things in Zim as we go. Uh, finally the last step batch for batch 6 we're uploading a picture and then we can um, apply these effects uh, the alien sort of detector on a picture to find out if uh, people in the picture are aliens or not. <laughs> okay, and there we're using the Zim Loader, and you can find out more information about the Zim Loader uh, right there, and also see the answer as to how we made the loader operate and so forth. Now, as you go, of course, the code starts getting more and more complex. Um, there's uh, many things that we talk about here, but uh, it doesn't cover all of the things in Zim. So Zim's got many more components, conveniences, and controls. For instance, you could use blobs or emitters and sprites. Uh, we did cover the basics of coding as well with variables and functions, and we didn't talk about loops. So here's, you know, you can go to the Zim Learn section and do more on that. Please. Uh, tell your teacher about this and so forth. And uh, that, my friends, is the Zim badges. Pop up to the top. If you can get to badge six, badge six, bad badge six, then you're certainly well on your way to making apps. And it's all here, building assets to controlling flow. And not only that, we're learning the words that the coders use. So all throughout there, we're specifically using words that coders know and that have been developed by the programming um, uh, world for, for many, many years now. Okay, so that's good. The words may seem complicated a bit at start, but after a little while, once we see the repetition and again the step-by-step -step consistency of, of what we're doing in Zim, I think this will be a really helpful way to start learning about code. And that's what is bubbling at Zim. So come on in. Uh, check it out, zimjs.com. Please let others know who might want to learn about code. Uh, hey, leave a comment or a message anywhere in our Facebook group or here on, on the YouTube the Bubbling Series. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, ciao. Have a great day.